In Israel, the threat of terrorism is far from theoretical. Over the course of the past two weeks, my country is facing a relentless and brutal campaign of terror, including uh, car bombs, stabbings, and stonings. Over 25 terror attacks took place in cities across the country, killing and, in and injuring innocent Israeli civilians. I will highlight just a few from the recent two weeks. During the Jewish holiday of Sukkot, terrorists stabbed and killed Nehemiah Lavi, father of seven, and murdered Aaron Bennett, whose wife and two-year-old son were also attacked and injured. These events were followed by an attack on Eitam and Nama Henkin, who were killed in, in a shooting attack on their vehicle while their four children were in the back seat. And just a few hours ago, two more young civilians were attacked, including a 13-year-old boy who was brutally stabbed while riding his bicycle. Israel confronts these threats on all its frontiers. Mr. Chairman, despite the gravity of these threats, Israel does its utmost to ensure that any measure taken to combat terrorism complies with its obligations under international law. Doing so certainly does not make our struggle against terror any easier, but we have matched our determination to combat terrorism with our commitment to respect the rule of law. International terrorism cannot operate without a continuous flow of funds. The Security Council has recognized the danger of state-sponsored terrorism and has repeatedly called on all states to prevent the financing of terrorists and terrorist organizations. Israel sees the targeting of financial resources that support terrorism as a major counterterrorism tool available to states. Disrupting the funding can effectively interrupt the growth and activity of terrorist organizations around the world. In this respect, it has been our experience that financial measures such as designations and the freezing of assets can fulfill the goal of preventing the next deadly terror attacks. These measures must be supported by intelligence sharing and cooperation by states. Mr. Chairman, the only way for the international community to combat the threat of terrorism is by implementing a zero tolerance approach. Terrorism cannot run without the fuel of incitement, intolerance, hatred, and the glorification of death and martyrdom. Any plan to cultivate a culture of peace and coexistence must focus on education. The discussions on this topic has been on our agenda at the Sixth Committee for many years. Yet there are several unresolved issues we have not been able to overcome. We must begin with agreeing on a clear definition of terrorism that includes all forms and manifestations of terror. Any failure to do so would compromise our ability to combat terrorism effectively and send a victory message to terror organizations. We will listen carefully to the views on the, on, of other member states expressed on this. Mr. Chairman, to conclude, terror and violent extremism are a threat we cannot ignore. Unfortunately for Israelis, it is part of our daily reality. We hope and believe that these efforts will help us to win the battle that we cannot afford to lose, and the message from this committee must be loud and clear that there is no cause of grievance that justifies terrorism. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.